Severe Weather Awareness Week is winding down. Throughout the week, we've learned about the types of severe weather that can plague us throughout the spring and summer months. Tonight, News Channel 5's Gary Boyer concludes his series on severe weather. Gary is sitting live now in the newsroom with more. Gary? Thanks, Dave and Rachel. The first and foremost goal of any meteorologist is to get the weather watcher warning out to the public as quickly as possible. Tonight, we wrap up Severe Weather Awareness Week with a look at an essential tool meteorologists use for this purpose, the NOAA Weather Radio. The National Weather Service in Great Falls has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until 5.25 p.m. for people in eastern Lewis and Clark County. Stop. The NOAA Weather Radio could be considered the most important tool local meteorologists use to get information to the public. And if you've got the right time of a weather radio for certain types of severe weather, uh, notably tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, and flash floods, the warnings for those three, we will issue an alert. When a warning is issued, the alert is triggered and the automated message emerges. The right type of a weather radio, your weather radio doesn't even have to be on at home. It will trigger the alert, to, which is an alarm that will either key you to turn the radio on or some radios it will come on automatically. So it is the signal that we're sending out that activates those radios. And the minute they come on, of course, then you hear the warnings. So why should you have a weather radio? To get uh, very up-to-date weather information. Um, the reason being exactly the one I said. If you've got a weather radio for the severe life-threatening event, uh, we will issue an alert. And you don't have to be watching television, listening to the radio, doing anything. If that weather radio is around, it has the ability to alert you to the fact you better take cover. A weather radio is a good tool to have, especially if you have outdoor interests. You can purchase a weather radio at nearly any electronics store. And one last thing, congratulations going out to Lynn Baltonson, who retired last month after many years of service at the weather office here in Great Falls. From all of us at KFBB, thanks for the many years of service. Dave, Rachel, and Mark, back to you.